So what you guys are going to be doing is you're going to be creating a radial design. Radial design circles around a central point. To find that central point, you want to fold your paper in half and fold your paper in half again. And then unfold your paper and mark your central point. This will be where your design rotates around. If you do not have a compass, you can use anything round, a lid to a Tupperware, you can use a bottom of a coffee can, anything round that you can find. If you can't find anything round, then you'll just have to try to freehand it the best you can. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a half circle on the half of your paper. Try to take up most of the paper that you can. And then you're going to fold it in half and cut along that line you just made. The important thing is, is to make sure that that central point stays in the center of your paper. And then you're going to fold it all the way. And you're going to fold it one more section. When you open it up, you'll end up with all eight of your sections that you will be drawing. So you're going to start off with one section. I want you to come up with your own pattern. Decide what you want to draw. The more you draw in it, the more interesting your pattern is going to look. But the important thing is, is that you do not go past this section here. You want to stop at that line. Then all you're going to do is draw your patterns. And the drawing inside this circle does not have to be symmetrical inside the little triangle. When we start flipping it and tracing it, it's going to automatically be symmetrical or radial. Once you have everything drawn out, then you're going to Fold your paper back over. Make sure to keep everything straight. And then you're going to take an object. You can take the end of your scissors. You can take an end of a pen or a Sharpie or a marker. And you're going to rub that graphite over onto the other section. Flip your paper over and do it on the other side. And the most important thing is, is to make sure that you transfer all of your drawing. When you open it up, then you'll see how it's lightly transferred. Then you're going to take your pencil and you're going to trace all of those transfer marks because you want those to be nice and dark. And you'll see how everything is going to start to get that radial design effect. But make sure you trace all of your lines. And take your time on this. I know I'm drawing a little bit quick for my liking, but I just wanted you guys to have a video showing you exactly how to do this process at home. You guys also have a handout that I s uploaded to the website that has step-by-step -step, step instructions as well. And then you're just going to keep folding each section, making sure that you stay straight. Don't let your lines move on you. 
because you want those sections to stay even. And you're just going to continue to trace it until you have the entire thing covered. Once you have everything covered, then you're going to go back and trace it with Sharpie or a pen or whatever black ink that you can find and then color it using color pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you have at home. In class, we'll be using color pencils and markers. And then again, we're just going to continue to trace each section. And then eventually, you're going to have everything covered and you're going to have one radial design. If you have any questions, please email me and I'll try to help you the best I can.